Hello, this is Princess Somnia, and welcome back to more Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. Last time, uh, we managed to find ourselves a shortcut from the central tower all the way back down to the uh, central chamber over here, the entrance hall. And in this episode, uh, in addition to unlocking the bars so we can come and go as we please in this area, uh, we saw an elevator that was a little worn and busted earlier, and uh, in this episode, we're gonna see what that's all about. Oh, something's moving. Are those gears? Oh, I see. Nice I bet we can access an area that we couldn't before. Good eye, Joker. Yes, so by coming in here and activating that switch, if we head back in through the painting, we can run back down to the uh, elevator that we were at before. Haha! -ha. I believe that in... Oh, I already said that last episode, didn't I? Never mind. But yeah. Now we can come down here to a question mark area. Where we're back underneath the uh, underground in the sewer area with the prisons and whatnot. But uh, I wonder if we can interact with anything over here. No, no, this bridge is just there for flavor. Now you can see there, there's another will seed door. But there is an enemy standing in front of it. Uh, in gold armor, even. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's an enemy standing in front of that, uh, and it's not budging either, which means that in order to get that, we're gonna have to fight for it. That viney door, we'll probably need to get in there, but it's guarded pretty well. Right again, I could sense a will seed beyond that door, but it's gonna be rough going. in my eye there. Uh, yeah, so be prepared for a boss fight. You might want to save and rest up and heal and whatnot, but yeah. There you are. You're not taking another step. What? I guess we'll just have to step on you first. Let's do the- no! Uh, that's a bad joke. That's just a very bad joke. This is, um, this is the Torn King of Desire. Uh, you have to fight this in base as a mini boss. It's required to beat the palace, but in Royal, this is technically optional. Uh, but I do recommend doing it. Uh, so this boss is uh, resistant to gun, fire, ice, wind, and a lek. So you really, you're just better off trying to use your physical skills against it instead of worrying about anything else. Now you can see there that it was staring at on for, uh, well, I'm just not going to say it, but that means it's going to target on with something kind of scary in a bit, so we're going to protect her by defending. Because anyway, yeah, uh, since we can't use so much of our abilities, uh, yeah, there we go, uh, we're just going to focus on using physical attacks and physical skills. Ooh, we knocked it down with a crit. Very nice. Didn't quite take it out, but that's okay. Uh, on can heal herself now. Basically, it's the same kind of strategy we were doing for uh, the Heavenly Punisher, except instead uh, of what we were doing there, it's just more so that he's not using charge, but using a very strong physical steel. But yeah, easy enough. All right. Hell yeah! Let's swipe this wheel seed and get out of here! I am so done with this place. We're all almost through here. Just hang in there, Panther. But yes. Getting rid of that thing will allow us to collect the last wheel seed. Nice. And for collecting all of the wheel seeds in the palace, something special happens. Whoa, what the hell was that? It got all... I don't even know how to describe it. Come on, Mona, you never told us what these will seeds will do. Um... So that's what happens. I never expected that. I mean, I never expected anything less than that to happen. So you had no clue either. No. 
Oh, who cares about the details? What really matters is the power I'm sensing from it. Maybe you could give us an upper hand somehow in the future. Huh? Wait, we're just taking it? I'm not totally sure that's a great idea. Listen up. A phantom thief makes use of any available tool to accomplish a mission. Who knows what we'll find next. If we find ourselves in a situation where this could be useful, let's see what it can do. So that right there is an accessory that we could collect. This is what I was going to say a couple episodes ago, but held myself back from saying. Um, New Game Plus lets you carry over wheel seat accessories, uh, which means I have them for every single palace in the game. And uh, yeah, that's that's kind of a spoiler, and I'm not about that. Uh, the And I'm going to have to censor out this menu, but the Crystal of Lust allows you to cast the Diorama spell, which is a more powerful healing spell. Which is pretty useful. I'm gonna give that to... I'm gonna give that to Ren. And I have a plan for this. Kind of. But yeah, we'll slap the Crystal of Lust on him. But alright, yeah. That's uh, all we can really do in this little area. So I'm just gonna head back up to the tower and meet you guys there. Alright. We're back in the... <clears throat> Jesus, my voice. <clears throat> we are back in the tower now. And there's only one thing for us to really do in this area. And that's kind of just... Climb up from here. And fight a brand new enemy, Succubus. Uh, let's see. Uh, also known as the Twilight Prostitute. Uh, these guys are weak to wind and bless. So let's knock these guys down. I kind of want to recruit this because Succubus is a little higher level than what we've had before. We're not quite level 9, so I can't, like, recruit something like Barath, for example, but, you know. Um, yeah. Lend me your power. Uh, let's see. It's a Moon Arcana, huh? Mm, I've had feelings about this before. I don't... Wait, no, I still need Bicorn. Damn it. What do you have? Um, those are garbage. Never mind. Get out of here. Not bad. <laughs> Looking for something with a little more power behind it, if you know what I mean. I probably should have uh, eliminated them. It would have given me more experience for that fight. There's another lock chest here. Nothing I can really oh. do about this. I don't have a lock pick, so we're just going to skip out on that. Ooh, a savage enemy. A uh -oh. looking one up ahead. You didn't see nothing. Got it. Ooh. It's a step forward. Very nice. Level nine with Joker. Now we All actually right. can recruit Barris if we wanted to. Next. Focus. Uh, we're gonna switch over here. I'm guessing this unlocks the, the bar door on the other side of the room, and that would be correct. Excellent. More importantly, there might be a safe room around. Yep, there is a safe room right here. All right. But yeah, this will take us to the central tower. Um, we've still got quite a bit of time left in the episode, so I'm gonna drop a quick save here, and then we'll get right back to it. Jesus, that was loud. At least to my ear. But yeah, uh, we need to head over this way. Don't want to know what he's doing with shackles in his palace. That I'd rather not have anyone answer. Uh oh. Ooh, hide! All right, a chest. Joker, it's a treasure chest. All right, I'll get him. Your true form. Yes, we got new enemies here, and we just hit the level I need to recruit them. Uh, these guys are Angel. Uh, AKA Zealous Messenger. These guys are weak to curse and gun, uh, but they're immune to bless. Now, the nice thing about, uh, well, well, the nice thing about being weak to gun is that I can pretty easily knock them all down and recruit them that way. But more importantly, I highly recommend making sure you recruit Angel uh, out of this uh, palace. Uh, in addition to having access to. Uh, Pixie, Bicorn, and Mandrake as well. And if possible, a persona with a Hierophant encounter. Uh, a Hierophant encounter. Hierophant Arcana. 
But yeah, let's recruit uh, Angel. You'll see why later. Not now, but later. But yeah. Uh, I did this mostly for just the sake of showing off or hurting it, but it's actually not too bad. I might get rid of something for this. I don't need a Gathion. I thought I did, but I'm realizing now that I really don't. So, we can ditch it. In any right. case, Compendium and yada yada. Hmm, got some sleep vials. Alrighty. Uh, we can't go up that way. That uh, direction's barred, and there's no way to really remove those, so we'll just have to chain our way through the hide spots over here that are a little confusing, but otherwise useful. Uh, there is an enemy over here. It's about as strong as we are, so let's grab it. Ooh, and we got some level ups, too. Nice. Okay. You want to be about a level yeah, 11 by the time you leave this palace. That'd be pretty good. Uh, I hope I find... Yes, another danger sh or savage enemy. Exactly what I want! Show me your true form! Oh, okay, unfortunately Joker's getting his turn first, which is... A little less than ideal, but now that we're level 9, I can actually recruit Bears, and I intend to. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, this is pretty strong, I think. Kate Sith's gonna go. Oh, that's the Hierophant persona I was looking for. And you know what? That tracks out. Yeah! Nice! Not bad. Okay. Alright, let's just uh, heal up. Put a put a cast on that broken neck of ours and uh head on out here. When I get powered, Show me your true form! You. Oh, here we go. Here's another new enemy here. And, uh, well, it's the Heavenly Punisher from earlier. Uh, occasionally you will run into enemies in a palace that are much stronger than anything else in the palace, but aren't savage enemies, and Heavenly Punisher is one of them. Uh, now, unlike the boss we encountered earlier, this one is weak to Elect and Curse. Uh, who's going next? Oh, it's going next. So yeah, we can use that to our advantage. But since they're not savage enemies, if you knock them down, uh, then things will happen just as normal. It also has much less HP than the savage enemies, which is nice. Unfortunately, we're not level 14, so we can't really recruit this guy. So, uh... Alright. No match for me. Joker, that startled me a little bit. Uh, let's collect this. Relax, Joe. Uh, I think that cures stuff like forget and confuse and whatnot. Mm, I'd have to double check, but it's a status on the curing thing. Focus. Now let's head on up this way. Ooh, a treasure chest. Let's get it. Well, now that's just rude. Yeah, you can't go that way. Focus. Um, so we might as well just head off this way. This looks perfectly what? safe. Whoa, that was close. Wait, what is this? It's a classic security measure. My tail might be in danger if we try to force our way through. Oh yeah, same for panthers. So what do we do? No way we're getting through here as is. Okay, be like we're actually short enough to crawl, hey, but... what do you think that is? You know. Hey, look. Yo, you think this controls those swinging things? Mm, doesn't really seem to do much. Mm. I don't. I didn't think it would be that easy. We probably need some kind of key for it. You gotta look for a key again? What a pain in the ass. Where would it be, though? There weren't any suspicious rooms on the way here. Joker. Hmm, what do you think, Joker? 
Maybe an enemy has the key. Mm. Hmm, that would probably be the most likely scenario. An enemy? You mean one of them shadows that's roaming around? No way, man. Dude, how many of them do you think there are? We can't beat the crap out of all of them. The key for this is for this tower, so it would have to be one of the shadows around here. On top of that, it would have to be a relatively high-ranking one. Yes! Then we just need to look for shadows like that and defeat them. That settles it. Let's do this, Joker. We need to find the shadow with a key. So yeah, there's actually two keys, not just one, and we're gonna have to backtrack to find them. Not to worry, it's not too hard to find. Third Eye will help us out here. I can see it. Uh, none of these guys do it, and it's probably not a terrible idea to try and just run past these guys or just, you know, snap I'll their backs. Excellent, that excellent. I can see it. Now you see that guy over there in the fancy golden armor with a white outline? Uh, that is our target. I'll reveal your yeah, but this guy over here in the fancy armor, see it. white outline, that's our Show target. True form. It's a bit cool that we could ambush a boss like this, but this guy is Eligor the War Hungry Horseman. Uh, now, this guy is, unlike normal boss enemies, I believe he's, yep, weak to lightning, uh, but he is resistant to curse and fire. So let's see, let's switch to Pixie real quick. And knock this guy on the ground. You should be a little worried about this guy. He hits really hard with his physical attack, so it might not even be a terrible idea to just guard with Joker or something like that, but I think we should be fine. More or less. Um. I believe in your uh, magic uh, stat more than your thing. All right, there we go. Yeah, this being a mini boss though, can't uh, talk with it or negotiate. Excellent. And you see there, we just got a key item. The uh, oh, another skill. Nice. Ooh, another skill for you too. Very nice. Uh, that increases attack for one ally for three turns, which is really nice. Okay. But yeah, we got a key item, the Randy Right Eye from that fight. E yeah. Hey, that shadow did have something, but what the hell is this, an eye? Oh, I just figured it out. This must be how we stop those scythes. Oh yeah, now that I think about it, the statue didn't have eyes. Mm. Uh, how much grocery can you get? So this is gonna stop those things, huh? Well, we'll need one more. Okay, Another go. guard captain probably has it. Let's try checking the other floors, Joker. <laughs> that was easy. Yep. Indeed. Uh-oh. There's three of them! For real? Crap, they all look like high-ranking soldiers. Are we gonna have to beat all of them? That would work, but there should only be one actual guard captain among them. Do you have any way to tell them apart, Joker? I think you of all people would have the skills to figure out which is the real one. Looks like they're gone now. I'll leave our next move up to you, Joker. Oh, well, it does turn out that I do happen to know exactly how to tell them apart. Remember what I said earlier about white outline? Oh, can... That was your major clue. But we're going to have to finish this puzzle up in the next episode of Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. See you guys then. Mm -hmm.